And ground, or tower, United 326 is rejected for aircraft on the runway. United 326, did you get a clear? Did I keep a check out there? You did clear us for takeout, sir. What's up guys and welcome to ATC Point of View. If you are new to the channel, my name is Lex and thanks for joining me. This incident happened a few years ago at Washington Dulles International Airport. Air traffic controller cleared an aircraft for takeoff, forgets about them, and then cleared several other aircraft across that same runway. This wasn't a case of inclement weather or poor radio communications. He simply forgot. So it was ATC error. But stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys the systems that the FAA has implemented prevent situations like this from happening in the future. So let's check it out. And number one, hold the shuttle to the center. Verify the call sign is Air Shuttle 6081 there. So he's the Zulu number one of Zulu holding shuttle one on the center. United 326 is ready. All right, now 326, only one on the center, line up and wait, sir. The current wind is 170 at 8, gust 20. I'm going to have multiple aircraft crossing the runway ahead of you. 19 center, line up and wait, United 326. 4651, turn right heading 320. 320 Whiskey 2, short 19 center with you, unit 589. United 719, just go ahead and taxi up to the runway, please. Hold short of 19 center, United 719. Thank you, sir. Skywest 3721 at Whiskey 4, cross runway 1 out of center, and hold short of taxi with Yankee, please. Cross 1 center, hold short of the Yankee, on Whiskey 4, 3721. America 2784 at Whiskey 2, cross 1 out of center, and uh, hold short of uh, taxi Whiskey. Taxi via Whiskey, I'm sorry, Taxi via Yankee 6 there, and hold short, Taxi via Yankee. So cross the runway, make the left to join Yankee 6 behind the small left right there. Clear to cross uh, 19 Center, Whiskey 2, join Yankee 6, and hold short, Yankee, America 2784. Skywest 3721, ground's going to be 121.62, pass and hold short line, please. And ground, or tower, United 326 is rejected for aircraft on the runway. United 326, did you get a clear? I think I see you for takeout there. You did clear us for takeout, sir. 326 right. And American uh, 2784, we stop. Now we're, we're going to cross now. All right, United 326, go ahead and make a left turn to join Yankee uh, 2 there and back to taxi, uh, taxi, taxi up Yankee to the runway there. Hey, yeah, uh, 326 rider. United 326, I can't take our plans, make a left turn there at Yankee. Uh, how about Yankee 3 or Yankee 2? Which one do you have there? Uh, we're on Yankee 3. We can make that clear, uh, the left turn on Yankee. And then back up to one minute thirty nine three twenty six. Three nine three twenty six. That is perfectly okay with me. Just remind me frequency, please. Yeah, three twenty six. And uh, America twenty seven eighty four. Cross the runway there. Yankee uh, six. Oh, sort of Yankee ground's going to be point uh, six two there. Yankee six. Yankee and ground point six two. America twenty seven eighty four. And tower United three twenty six. You want us all the way down or hold short? Go ahead, taxi straight up to the runway there. Okay, we'll taxi to the runway United three twenty six. United 326, wind 170 at 10, zero, gust 17, wind 1 out of center, now line up on wait, sir. Uh, sir, we're going to need a minute to reduce the thing, United 326. Uh, 326, well, I'll say, well, just hold short of Zulu 1 there and stay with me, please. Okay, hold short of Zulu 1, we'll stay with you and we'll notify United 326. United 326, how much time do you think you'll need before you're uh, ready to go? Uh, we'll need uh, about one more minute, United 326. Take it. United 326, you're ready. United 326, Roger, runway 19 center, line up and wait. 19 center, line up and wait, United 326. United 329, traffic's holding in position, cross runway 19 center and hold short of Zulu. Right across 19 center, short of Zulu, United 329. United 329, amend hold short of Yankee, please. Hold short of Yankee, United 329. United 326, turn right at 320. United uh, 326 is going to turn to 230. 320, United 326. 320, United. This is the airport diagram for Washington Dulles International Airport and runway 19 center is right over here. United 326 is told to line up and wait on the runway and was told that there will be several aircraft crossing the runway. I'm assuming that they're doing segregated runway operations, meaning that runway 19 right is strictly being used for arrivals 
while runway 19er center is being used for departures. Thus, all arrivals coming off runway 19er right have to cross runway 19er center to get to the gate. So the air traffic controller clears United 326 for takeoff, but then just forgets about them. In the meantime, he has Skywest 3721 at Whiskey 4. He tells him to cross the runway. And then he also has American 2784 here at Whiskey 2 and tells him to cross as well. As United 326 gets rolling, luckily he's able to see American 2784 in time. He aborts and able to exit at Yankee 3. In an effort to prevent similar situations like this from happening in the future, the FAA has made many changes to improve runway safety. The most significant of them all is called the ASD Model X. This system was not yet implemented at the airport at the time of this incident, but it is now. So ASD stands for Airport Surface Detection System, and it's basically a surveillance system that utilizes radar, multilateration, and satellite technology to allow air traffic controllers to track the surface movement of aircraft and vehicles. This system alerts air traffic controllers of potential runway conflicts by providing detailed coverage of movement on runways and taxiways. This is accomplished by collecting data from a variety of sensors, and ASD is able to track non-transponder and transponder-equipped aircraft and vehicles as well. Controllers in the tower are presented with this information on a color display depicting aircraft and vehicle positions as an icon overlaid on a map of the airport with the runways and taxiways as well as the approach corridor of each runway. The system continuously updates the map of the airport movement areas so that the air traffic controllers can always have an enhanced level of awareness. And as you see here, the ASD safety logic feature can identify conflicts and then be able to alert the air traffic controller with a message or audible alarm. Then the air traffic controller can take the appropriate actions to correct the problem. Another great feature is the taxiway arrival prediction capability. This alerts air traffic controllers when an aircraft mistakenly lines up for a taxiway as opposed to a runway. This has happened a lot in the past few years, and it's a great feature to have to prevent any uh, disastrous outcomes. Additionally, the runway status lights located at the runway and taxiway intersections provide an additional layer of safety by letting everyone know when the runway is not safe to cross. The lighting system will illuminate red, but when the aircraft passes, then they'll turn off. For departures, while the aircraft is in light up and wait, they'll be able to visibly see that the runway is not safe for takeoff until the lights turn off. Thus, the situation in this incident would never have happened if these systems were implemented at that time. All in all, anything that increases the overall awareness of an air traffic controller is great for everybody. And I think this system is more advantageous uh, during nighttime or during inclement weather where there's poor visibility. Air traffic controllers don't have to stop operations because they can't see uh, the aircraft that they're talking to. They'll still be able to separate them and uh, issue instructions and keep the operations moving. But right, guys, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you haven't done so already, hit the like, subscribe button. And as always, peace.